We turn now to your voice, your vote coverage, and the 2024 presidential race kicking off tonight with the coldest Iowa caucus ever. Republican frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, is expected to dominate tonight. Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis seemingly battling it out for second. DeSantis is putting it all bets on Iowa, visiting all 99 counties, and holding more events than Trump and Haley combined. We don't go by the polls. I think that they've historically not p predicted who's going to win, and I think that we have a better beat on who's going to turn out. Today's the day we make history because we raise the voices of Americans that say we want a better day. We're going to make it happen. Thank you. God bless you. Let's do this. You can't sit home. If you're sick as a dog, you say, darling, I got to make it. Even if you vote and then pass away, it's worth it. When Iowans head out tonight, temperatures are expected to be around five below with a wind chill of minus 35. News 8's Jenna Webster, though, inside, warm and safe, live in Des Moines, where all the eyes are in the political world are focused tonight. Former President Trump has a big lead in the polls, and the big question, can another candidate pull off a shocking upset? Good evening, Jenna. Hey, Shelby, yeah, that really is the big story today is who can become a competitor for Donald Trump moving forward? Who is going to get that second place position? Because when you look at the polls right now, Trump has a very commanding lead, almost 30 points above. But let's talk about these polls for a second. From last month, he did dip ever so slightly. Not by much, not probably going to make too much of a difference based on how high he's polling right now. But Nikki Haley did in the last few days overtake Ron DeSantis. So she is trying to build that momentum. She is trying to, you know, when they talk about Iowa, they talk about it being the state that separates the contenders from the pretenders. So these candidates, they want to build that momentum. They want to have the turnout tonight. They want to kind of overperform in this so it can give them good momentum going into New Hampshire. So tonight's going to be all about the turnout. The other big story, the weather, and who is going to brave the cold to go to the caucuses tonight. The Republican Party is very confident that Iowans are used to this. They're going to brave those cold temperatures the way the precincts are set up. People are going to be inside. They don't expect people to be outside waiting in line to register, outside waiting in line to, you know, sign in. But we'll see how everything plays out tonight and who can actually be a contender for Donald Trump tonight. You, you heard Ron DeSantis say it. The Iowa caucus, it, it can't really be predicted by the polls because it's all about who decides to show up tonight. It's not a simple ballot that you're filling out and mailing in. So all eyes will be on Iowa tonight and seeing how these numbers turn out. Shelby. All right, thanks, Jenna. And our coverage of the Iowa caucus continues tonight on News 8 this evening and on a late edition of News 8 at 10 right after the NFL playoff game. But we will also be streaming live all night long on WQAD.com, the News 8 app, and the WQAD YouTube page. You can also get caucus information, including your precinct number, by texting the word caucus to 309-304-0888. And we'll get that information sent straight to your phone.